Today, we have some intriguing news about the oracle from Omaha himself, Warren Buffett. The legendary investor and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway recently made some ominous predictions about the US economy. Brace yourselves because it seems like America's incredible period might be coming to an end. During Berkshire Hathaway's annual general meeting, Buffett dropped a bombshell statement that has left many in the financial world buzzing. He revealed that over the past six months, the US economy has been experiencing a slowdown. Marking a significant shift from the remarkable growth we've witnessed in recent years, these words are particularly striking because they come from a man who has an uncanny ability to predict market trends. But that's not all. Buffett also shared his expectations for Berkshire Hathaway's business segments, and they're not exactly sunshine and rainbows. He expressed his belief that most of their businesses will report lower earnings this year compared to the previous year. It's an unusual comment coming from someone as optimistic as Buffett, which makes it all the more compelling. Naturally, when Buffett speaks, people listen. His track record as one of the most successful investors in history speaks for itself. So when he warns of a potential economic downturn, it's wise to pay attention. Here, we'll talk about how this incredible period came to be, the signs of its end, and what we can expect in the future. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now is the perfect time to do so. Now let's get started. Now, you might be wondering what exactly caused this economic surge. Well, the answer lies in the unprecedented response of governments worldwide to the COVID-19 pandemic. In the United States, the government took swift action, distributing massive amounts of transfer payments to support social benefits and stimulate the economy. This included extra unemployment payments and over $800 billion through the Paycheck Protection Program. These measures had a remarkable effect on personal disposable income, which grew significantly. So, what did Americans do with all that extra cash? They went on a shopping spree. People across the nation hit the stores online and offline, buying everything from gadgets to groceries and even investing in their dream businesses. It's no wonder that company earnings skyrocketed during this incredible period. Businesses large and small saw their profits soar as consumers opened their wallets wider than ever before. It was a win-win situation for both buyers and sellers, as the economy thrived on this surge of spending. But let's take a closer look at one particular company that mirrors the overall economy, Berkshire Hathaway, led by the legendary investor Warren Buffett. This conglomerate owns a wide range of businesses across industries like insurance, energy, real estate, railroads, manufacturing, retail, and services. With such a diverse portfolio, Berkshire Hathaway is often seen as a microcosm of the entire US economy. And guess what? Many of its businesses have been thriving in recent years. They benefited from rock-bottom interest rates and the government's efforts to inject money into the economy, mitigating the impact of the pandemic. But here's where it gets interesting. In a recent statement, Warren Buffett himself pointed out that the tables have turned. He emphasized that the period of extraordinary growth we've been witnessing is coming to an end. The climate has changed, but what signs can attest to this? First off, let's talk about the signs from the recent monetary programs. The Federal Reserve has been tightening its monetary policy to tackle the inflation that resulted from massive stimulus efforts. One significant indicator is the M2 money stock growth, which has taken a nosedive of 4.05%. To put this into perspective, it's the most negative change in a hundred years. And guess what? Changes in M2 tend to influence future changes in GDP. Brace yourselves, folks, because this suggests that we can expect some weakness in the GDP ahead. Now, there is also another aspect to the world of finance. Keep your eyes on the S&P 500 earnings. Over the past year, we've witnessed a decline in earnings, which is never a good sign. In the annualized monthly earnings for 2022, the trend has been steadily downward, and it's been accelerating since the beginning of 2023. But wait, there's more. Small cap earnings are taking an even harder hit compared to large cap earnings. And you know what they say? Small cap tends to lead the way. So it's a red flag we can't afford to ignore. There's also the problem of recent Federal Reserve interest rate hikes. Within the past 14 months, they've gone from virtually zero to a staggering 5%. Talk about a drastic change. 
The main goal here is to combat historic inflation. However, higher interest rates have their consequences. They encourage saving over spending and raise borrowing costs, which usually leads to decreased demand, lower asset prices, and an increased risk of recession. But wait, there's more fallout from these interest rate hikes. Banks are feeling the heat as the value of their fixed income portfolios take a hit. And guess what? Depositors are rushing to withdraw their money and seek higher yielding alternatives like bonds and money market funds. But can you blame them? This shift in deposits has put immense pressure on the banking industry, resulting in recent failures. Just in March, both Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank bit the dust. And if that wasn't enough, JP Morgan swooped in to acquire the embattled First Republic Bank. All of these factors combined paint a pretty clear picture. The incredible period we've been experiencing is coming to an end. The signs are right in front of us, signaling a shift in the economic landscape. So, what does this mean for all of us? Now, one of the most significant effects we'll feel is the potential economic weakness that lies ahead. With the tightening of monetary policy and the decline in earnings, it's no surprise that people might face challenges in their financial lives. Job security may become uncertain, and it could be tougher to make ends meet. We might need to tighten our belts and adjust our spending habits to navigate through these turbulent times. Moreover, the increased risk of recession can also affect the housing market. If we find ourselves in an economic downturn, it could become harder for individuals to obtain mortgages or sell their properties. This might lead to a slowdown in the real estate sector, making it a bit trickier for aspiring homeowners or investors. Also, declining S&P 500 earnings and the pressure on small caps can have significant ramifications for companies. When earnings are down, businesses might struggle to make their financial goals and sustain growth. This could potentially lead to layoffs, reduced investments and a general sense of uncertainty in the job market. The Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes would also have effects on businesses. Higher borrowing costs mean that companies might find it more expensive to fund their operations or expand their ventures. This can put a damper on their ability to innovate and compete in the market. But it doesn't stop there. The banking turmoil we mentioned earlier could have a cascading effect on businesses as well. With banks facing challenges due to the decline in their fixed income portfolios, lending might become stricter. This means that small businesses or entrepreneurs seeking loans to start or grow their ventures might face more hurdles and limited access to capital. It's like a domino effect, impacting the entrepreneurial spirit and potentially stifling economic growth. But what can we expect in the future? Will the situation get better or worse? Well. Who better to tell us than Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha himself? He has identified the commercial property sector, the banking system and tensions with China as the major risks to watch out for. Buffett expressed his worries about the escalating tensions between Beijing and Washington, urging both sides to exercise caution and avoid actions that could have severe consequences. After all, we're living in a time when destructive tools are more accessible than ever before. There's also the problem of an impending recession. It's a topic that's been making headlines, and everyone seems to have an opinion. Economic data suggests that a recession is likely, but the timing is still up for debate. Some experts believe that a recession will begin in the US by the end of the year. However, there are mixed signals from various recession indicators. The Australia Mishkin Recession Probability Index, for example, is currently at its highest level since 1990. While employment numbers may appear strong at first glance, there are some shifting trends that we need to keep an eye on. Employee quits have been on a downward trend over the past year, while layoffs have been on the rise. The combination of changes is often observed during the early stages of a recession, signaling a potential shift in the job market. Another concerning factor is the reported weak consumer demand among S&P 500 companies. On average, these companies have mentioned weak demand at a rate not seen since the early days of the pandemic in 2020 and the Great Recession of 2008 to 2009. This could have a significant impact on the overall economy if it persists. The chaos in the markets has also fueled fears about banks pulling back on lending to protect their finances, 
and prepare for potential bank runs. This tightening of credit could lead to a credit crunch, further exacerbating the risk of a recession. However, Warren Buffett has highlighted that higher interest rates aren't entirely bad news for his company, Berkshire Hathaway. In fact, he mentioned that Berkshire Hathaway is expected to earn around $5 billion from its cash, treasuries and other short-term investments this year. That's quite a jump from the mere $50 million a couple of years ago. Now, with risks on the horizon, including tensions with China, the commercial property sector and the possibility of a recession, as we mentioned earlier, it's essential to stay informed and keep an eye on trends. As Warren Buffett reminds us, challenges can bring opportunities, and with the right approach, we can navigate through these uncertain times. That's all for today, folks. If you found this discussion helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning. Take care.